mystery of God and the work of God does not end. He said, I will not only bless you, I will make your name great. I will do it. I will do it. How God does these things are beyond our natural comprehensions. That's why he is God. And then he went on to say, when I bless you, you will become what? A blessing. I told us last week that many of the men that become great in life, they will tell you that they entered into wealth, into money by strange means. Not because they struggled that much, no. But because God somehow opened a door that favored them, connected them to people that made things happen for them. I was telling us the story of a young man on Saturday here whom God gave wealth. <laughs> I mean, was it on Friday? Whom God gave wealth to. And his story is very, very funny. He said by virtue of certain persons he knows, somebody walked over to him saying, ah, this is my contract. You go pay me if they stop it. Because there's no way I will get what I have if this contract is stopped. And the contract is huge. He says, it's only one man that signs this contract for approval. And that man is so and so. And the person he's talking about is somebody he knows. Who is his spiritual son? Oh, you want this? The person that should sign it, that you just mentioned, is my son. In the Lord. Oh, really? If you do this for me, I'll be glad to... He says, okay, wait. Takes his phone, calls the person up, and the person picks, and says, I hear you are the only one that can sign this such and such a job. He said, yes. He said, I have somebody here who is like a son to me also. I am interested in this. I'm interested in this. If you can help me, help him, you have helped me. Ah. My father and the Lord, for your sake, I will do it. Normally, I should not do it, too, but I will do it. He says, send him to me. He just said to the young man, go over to Abuja, a bit to Lagos, meet such and such a person. And that was it. The man traveled all the way, met the person. They signed the contract for him. And <laughs> he was so amazed and bewildered that just by a phone call, that thing was signed. And this was a thing he had been looking for ways to sign. And he couldn't. He just sent the message to the young man. Send me your account details. Send me your account details. And that was it. After about a week or two, this, my friend, said on a Monday morning, some few minutes to 10, he received an alert on his phone. Bagam, it was 200 million. The next day, Tuesday, a few minutes ago, he checked on another 200 million. He knew the person that was sending it. He was calling the person, the person refused to answer. This happened Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 200 million each day. On Friday, after the last alert was released, a man was the one that called. Did you see all my small gifts that I sent to you. He said, sir, I saw them. I thought they were making mistakes. So I was calling you to say, please, so that you can correct it. He said, no. It's just because my limit of transfer in a day is 200 million. While some of us, it's, it's about 200. <laughs> some of us, our limit is 200,000, some 100,000, some 500,000, some 1 million. If you're too much, maybe 5 million or 10 million. But somebody's own is what? 200 million. It's hard to break it into five days because I just wanted to say thank you. I just wanted to say what? Thank you for allowing your son in the Lord to help me sign this contract. I came to ask you 
What had the young man become? A billionaire. In how many days? Five days. By reason of what work? A phone call. A phone call. When he was knowing this one, I'm, ask, I'm saying, when he was knowing this one, they didn't know he was going to meet somebody that had the need that this one would be able to help. He knew this one separately. God brought somebody. These things are orchestrated from the realm of the spirit. These things are maneuvered, manipulated in the spirit realm to make it happen in the physical. That is how when curses, evil befalls men, that's how it is manipulated. In 2023, it will not be manipulation of evils. It will be manipulation and the workings of the Lord for good in your favor to bring out a blessing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Shout, I receive the blessing. Even the blessing of Abraham. Even the blessings of Abraham. To show you these things, walk. Give you another story. Somebody else. This young man had been in Padagua for years, crying to God, make a way for me, bless me, open my door. Somehow he found himself hanging around some guys who are into oil. Into oil. And he had some men who had oil tank farms, tank farms. They just, it just become people he will go and hang around and became their small friends. They could send him on errands. And he would go on errands like that. Just hanging around there. One day, he found himself in the midst of some of those kind of persons. But one of them began to just quietly tell his friend, man, I really need to get a tank farm right now. I have money enough to get a tank farm. I want a tank farm. I want a tank farm. That's his friend. And when he heard it, he quietly met the man. He said, sir, did you say you want a tank farm? He said, yes. He said, would you by any means know anybody that has a tank farm that want to sell? He said, I have some big friends that have tank farms. I will ask one or two of them. He said, okay. He went and asked, and one of them said, I want to sell my tank farm. Is it coincidental? No, is it coincidental? No, this is spiritually and divinely arranged and orchestrated. And he said, sir, I have somebody that can buy your tank farm. Sir, I have somebody <laughs> that wants to sell a tank farm. Both of them met, and he was there to broker the deal. And he said, for bringing this thing to pass, what's my percentage? They looked at him and said, you will have 10% of the deal. 10%. They sold that tank farm for 10 billion. 10% of it was what? 1 billion. That's how this small boy became a billionaire. These things happen not by struggle. They happen because a divine presence, a spiritual power makes it to happen like that. Meet all these inventors. Meet all these men who are great in life. They will tell you somewhere along the line they came in contact with a spirit entity. Some ideas dropped into them while they were sleeping or somehow they were taught things from the other realm that made them to become what they became. I came to expose you to spiritual dimensions to say to you that Abraham did not get blessed by his power. Abraham got blessed because God 